we're tip of the tip of the spear. You know, we're we're out there looking for bad guys to to put in jail. We're not out there trying to do anything else than find the the absolute worst guys that are preying on the neighborhood and the local our local area on the southeast side of Houston. We located a vehicle we'd lost earlier. Uh, it had been selling, uh, believed to have been selling narcotics. Let's see if we can get a stop on him now. Nope. Right now, the passenger's probably trying to get rid of the dope. That's why they're taking a long time. Still slow rolling on Mount Plaza. I guess they're getting rid of the dope. Slow down, slow down, slow down, because we're dead even with y'all. Stop, stop, stop. He's watching, hey, hang on. He, he's watching the rear view. Watch out! Get in the car, get in the car! Okay, on the, on the ground, going back, uh, going back one street, one street holding his waistband. Custody, in custody, in custody. It's in his hand. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Got him stoked. Got him stoked. You got it right here. It's right here. Good job, good job, baby. Good job. I got my gun. Got, got wet crack. Got some fresh cook. It's all fresh cook. Got some powder. Be still. Hold still. Come on. Listen, listen. Listen. You ran like a man. Act like a man. Quit your crying. Hey, Quit your crying. Okay? Try to grab my gun. Try to grab my gun. What are you trying to do? You want to get killed? Huh? I don't know. It, I think it might have been. What's wrong? What's wrong? Huh? He tried to fight with us. Hey, uh, yeah. Let him not take the driver in custody. Okay. We What's wrong, it. huh? Uh, Why are you crying? Do something. He threw that on you? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go back over there and handle that, all right? That's not fair for him to throw that on you, all right? We got your pants. We're going to put Let's you go. in the back seat. We're going to get you some money. Come on, um. So we got right now, you got obviously this. Most of this right here is low denomination. We're going to have 20 tens, fives, lots of ones. That's all. We only got a couple of hundreds. That's all pretty common for street level sales. This kind of quality and quantity, just small amounts. I'm going to be street level narcotic salesman out here in the local neighborhood. Hey, what's the deal, man? I'm, I'm Officer Wagner. I'm the guy that tried to stop you earlier, and you, uh, you want to take off and run from me. What happened? What's the deal? Tell me the story. Somebody, somebody set me up. Someone set you up? Who set you up? That driver? Well, why, why'd you run with it? Why didn't you just get out and say, hey, officer, this guy's got drugs. I don't want nothing to do I with this guy. I take me. I ain't know what to do. Okay. I heard you got a felony, a felony warrant stuff like that. You got a couple of felony warrants? Well, what? So you didn't want to run because of felony warrants or just want to run because of the dope? No, because he threw that on me. So what's all this money from? Yeah, that's what I have. All right. You know how you get paid for doing such stuff. Wrong. Where do you work? Oh, no, I'm not saying like You ain't got no job? No, sir, I'm not saying You like got a pay stub? No, sir. You filed taxes last year? You I pay your taxes jail, last year? Man. You were in jail? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, how much money is this right now? What am I holding? How much? It's like $600. About like 600 What kind of work do you do to get that? No, my wife gave it to me. Your wife gave it to you? Did, you're on allowance? Sir. You, she put you on an allowance? No, sir. She works, sir. She works? What does she work doing? Like cars. She does cars. That makes no sense. What does she do? I, I don't know exactly. She worked at the car. You don't know what your wife does. She just does she something with some car. cars. Okay. And she pays you cash? Yes, yeah, she gives me money. Like and ones, fives, tens, twenties, and a couple of hundreds? She gives me all kinds of money. Now, she gives you all kinds of money. Okay. Well, why, why'd you grab that policeman's gun? I swear I ain't grabbing no gun, sir. I was from the fall and I was trying to grab it. Oh, so you just grabbed onto something on the way down? You broke your fall with his pistol butt? I swear to God, my life, sir. What about the driver? Is there anything over there he's going to have on him now? I don't know, so he gave it to me. But right now, man, you got to take the man's ride, all right? So man up. So be glad you're not dead today riding away in the morgue. So going to the morgue right now in the back of a hearse. So you lucky. You grab a police officer's gun, we're going to shoot you. That's just straight up. So, all right? Who's this guy to you real quick? I've been knowing the guy for a few months, you know. Okay. And did, it, did, he, did he tell you not to stop? 
Was it him that said, dude, I, I got something, I, I don't stop, don't stop? No, sir. I, I, when he came, I told him that the line, he was like, man, they following us. I was like, man, those cops are not after us. Okay, and so when y'all were talking street. for a while, and he just shocked you by jumping out of your car as it was moving and running? Yeah, he, he was like, man, what you doing? I was like, man, them police cars, they not going around. They must be pulling me over. Okay. So I, that's why you see this truck park right here. I didn't go around have that Have you ever truck. been arrested for a drug case? Yes, sir. You have? How many? About two. About two? Way back years. Maybe more? I thought yeah. we found some more on you than two, a lot more. No, nah, y'all found some more. About four. To About be four. Honest, okay. Yes. Okay, so now but we're going to be honest. Years ago. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we're going to be honest? Yes, sir. Okay, so be two, honest. four, we're going to maybe six when we get all done with this. No, sir. Okay, so you got all these drug cases. Your partner bails out with a bunch of drugs on them and money. Why would you make me think that after you not want to pull over, that you're not involved in any of this? That you're just an innocent victim of giving a nice man a ride? That's so. Officer, I'm not going to play ignorant because you're right. I man, don't man, a man, okay. man, 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 with you. Okay. I knew that he was still involved in doing, but I didn't know he had anything on him. I wouldn't have been driving. That's not even my car, officer. Okay. You might be going to jail for evading in a vehicle. Okay. Officer, okay. please don't do me like that. No, I didn't can do nothing you, can, to you. Can you touch? Just cut I your brake? I, I mean, just not, cut your not, on, not, on, not on that. Officer, take me to jail for something else, sir. Like, what do you want me to do? Just make something up? I mean, I what, mean, do you, I, what would you like to go to jail for? public intoxication. Okay, or, just take you to jail for PR? today? Yeah, Have you I been mean, drinking? No, sir. Well, how? <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, all right, dude, look at that. Okay, bang, bang. Driver is going to jail for uh, evading in a motor vehicle and possession control substance for the crack cocaine found in his driver's seat. Our front passenger over here has got three felony warrants. He's going for his three felony warrants, parole violation. This uh, shows possession uh, control substance with intent to deliver. He's going to jail for that. Became a policeman probably because it was a natural thing to do. My dad was a state police officer and head of narcotics. My brother is now a lieutenant with the Harris County Sheriff's Office uh, after the military. I came and joined the Sheriff's Office. Uh, I'm a field training officer now. Uh, kind of give some of my knowledge to some of the guys out here. Thank you, man. Uh, we're en route to a possible driving while intoxicated uh, person driving southbound on our beltway. We're going to see if we can't catch up to them and uh, we'll see what the problem is. Apparently, they hit the curb a few times. Right there, right. 20, there's a shell station. 22, we're 21. Got a beer already out on top of the car. Yes, I need a friendly record to uh, start Will Clayton at the south station. All right, we're on scene uh, with our DWI driver. We're going to see what's going on. Uh, Hello. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm tired. Deputy... Oh, tired? I'm Deputy Ellington, Harris County Sheriff's Office. Um, <laughs> do you know why we pulled you over or why we're with you today? Um, I was falling asleep. So you were falling asleep? Yeah. Have you taken any prescribed medication today? No. No, you, do you take any prescribed medication? No. No? How many beers have you had today? Just the one. Just one? Did you hit the curb any? Yes. Maybe? Yep. Okay. And you're sure you only had one beer? Yes. Okay. Um, 43, 22, where are you headed? Yeah, um, at, at, at uh, Wallaceville and 2100. I go down um, maybe like five blocks. Okay, could you step out of the car real quick? 43 over 22, send me your alarm on the summit. Good afternoon, kid, sir. 42, Sam, 20 go east. You have anything on you I need to know about? No. Anything in your pockets? Go ahead and turn your pockets inside out. Awesome. All right, let me let me see something real quick. Turn around, turn around. What's in your back pocket here? ID or anything? Any other one? This one that's closed. Forty-three hundred twelve. Send me a call. My other driver's license. Your other driver's license? Um. I'm going through a divorce, so when I got my driver's license, I had it um, under, but I'm 
trying to get a divorce, so... Okay, yeah. here, here's the deal. Did you know it's unlawful to uh, possess two driver's license? I, yes, I just found this out. Okay, it's, it's also unlawful to have two driver's licenses that are current and two different names on them. Okay, all right. Here, let's, let's walk over here real quick. We need to check some things. Okay, what I need you to do is I need you to stand, face me. Stand with your feet together, just like that. Put your hands down by your side. Okay, now listen, are you on any prescribed medication? No, sir. Okay, have you taken any prescribed medication? No. Are you sure? You hesitated. I took half of his annex. That's what I needed to know. What else? Any soma, hydrocodone? Um, I took Lorset. That's Vicodin, hydrocodone. Yes. Okay. How many? One. Are you sure? Okay. Keep your hands down by your side. What I'm going to have you do is you're going to keep your hands down by your side. And you're going to lift a foot, whichever foot you'd like to, approximately six inches off the ground, just like I am. You're going to point your toe out and you're going to look at your toe. And you're going to count aloud like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. If you should touch the ground with your foot while you're counting, don't worry about it. Pick it back up. You understand? Yes. Begin. You need to count for me, sir. Oh. That's okay. And you, you said 1,001, 1,002. 1002. Yeah. Up to six? No, whenever oh. I say stop. 1,001, 1,002. I'm very tired. That's okay. 1,001, 1,002. Okay. Uh, so the last thing I want you to do, I want you to turn around and face that way, okay? Face this way. What I want you to do, okay? I'm going to stand behind you. I'm going to do a test. What I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. I want you to put your hands out just like that, palms out, okay? Okay? I want you to close your eyes and count to 20. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're under arrest for the suspicion of driving while intoxicated, okay? Yes, you ever been in trouble before? Not like this, sir. Okay. Like how? How have you been in trouble? Um, First step over here. I guess it's not me in trouble. I just went through domestic violence. So your husband was in trouble? Okay. Here, I need you to have a seat back here. Now listen, were you honest with me about how many pills you had? The reason why I'm asking, have a seat for me, sweetie, is because you're impaired to the point to where you you didn't pass any of my tests. None of my tests did you pass, okay? Um, and I don't think you're intoxicated on alcohol, although you have been drinking alcohol. I think it's the pills you've been taking. Okay, fine, two, no more records. How many Xanax have you taken today? I took a half a bar. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, how many, how many, how many uh, somas? Two. Two somas, okay. That's probably what you're to make the problem. And how many lore set? Two. Okay. Well, listen, when you go to court, you're going to have options, okay? If they have an option for treatment, you probably want to take that treatment. I uh, work the graveyard shift. Work in the graveyard shift, you never know what you're going to get into. Definitely the city that's 24-7. Uh, it's a unique place to work. I love it. It's definitely the coolest job I've ever had. Airport. Control 1, DP32. DP32. I got that vehicle stopped. Uh, this vehicle just backed into one of our patrol vehicles in the other lot. Roll down your windows. Turn the vehicle off. Okay. Go ahead and turn it off. Step out for me, please. Tom, 187 control. You step out of the car, too, sir. Walk out towards the back. Can you be in out to them? They're at Spring Mountain, west of Durango. Go ahead, ma'am. Step out of the car, please. All right, he, he backed into the patrol car. Affirm. Right, back here. Ma'am, back here. Then uh, 602 Tom, please let him know. Copy. 
Step right here. Metro Police, right there. I'm sorry. Back your vehicle, front of mine. Right there. Right there. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Put your hands on your back, please. your feet. Ma'am, take your purse off for me and put it up here. Spread your feet out, sir. Spread your feet. Okay, when, when your friends yelled at you to stop, when I yelled at you to stop, right after your girlfriend backed into my police vehicle, why did you not stop? I was standing about 80 yards from you guys, and I heard a boom, I saw your car bounce, and I saw my car bounce. Why did you guys not stop? Did you know you hit that car? No. Okay, look, okay. Come here one second, right here. Can I go? Yeah. Yeah, I told her to. You see that? Your marks on your car right there? That you just backed into a police car. That's why you got stopped. Come right back up here for me, okay? Is your ID in here? You've been had anything to drink. Be honest with me. Felt the the vibration. I mean, you didn't feel that? No. Man, how much have you had to drink tonight? Um. So you had about four drinks mm -hmm. in about three hours? Yep. Okay. That's your vehicle? It's actually my ex-husband's vehicle. Chris. Where's the marijuana at? In the center console, sir. This driver of this vehicle, uh, she uh, backed into a patrol vehicle on another call. Um, she didn't stop when we tried to get her to stop in the parking lot, so we came around and did a car stop on her. Um, walked up to the vehicle, when I pulled her out, I could smell a strong smell of marijuana. Therefore, can you start that way? It's going to be map 2 6 well, I smell it, like, halfway up to the car. Is that yours? We didn't copy any of the beginning of any of that. you have anything illegal in your purse? Um, no, not in my purse. Anywhere else in the vehicle? Just in the green bag right there. Mind if I take a look in your purse? Sure. What's in here? Some marijuana. Okay. I don't want to open it and have it fly all over it's the place. It's just a little bit. Okay. But that's enough. Okay. So we're sitting in the parking lot on this 407, and we hear a loud crunch, and we look up. And they just backed up into it and then okay. sped off. Did she realize she hit you? No. Marijuana in the car, too. All right. There's an obvious mark on her car. On her bumper. Seems like it did. No damage at all. Nah. Just a scuff. Why are you driving away from the scene of an accident? Especially when you hit a police car. Because honestly, I didn't know that I actually hit the vehicle. I really thought that my sensors were going off because did of the- Did you hear the sensors going off? Yeah. Absolutely. They okay. beeped three times, which tells, which tells me I hit something or I'm going to hit something. Okay. And I thought that it was the person that was crossing the sensors behind me. And that's so why I took person? my my. So foot was the off person the between your truck and the police car? Yes. He was walking right behind the vehicle. He was on the side of my vehicle. Okay. So, and that's what I saw. I didn't look. I didn't see. I saw the person. I, and that's Wait, all that I was concerned about. I was like, oh my gosh, I was hit that guy. But you didn't see the big police car taking up like three parking spots. I did see the police car, and I, I thought that I stopped in time. She has a homemade glass smoking pipe, um, wrapping papers with residue, and then she has a, a little like eye thing where you put your uh, eyelids with uh, one little piece of marijuana in it. It's going to be a misdemeanor. It's less than one ounce. It's uh, just a ticket. She's been very cooperative. Do you have anybody that has not been drinking when we're all done with this that can take possession of the vehicle? Absolutely. Okay, where, where is he or she at? Back up. at the bar? At the bar? Where are they doing that? My there? boss. And your boss is working now? He's not drinking? My boss is working, not drinking. Okay. Okay, you're going to get some citations for your traffic violations? Okay. You get some citations for your extracurricular activities there? I'm yes. more nervous now than anything. No. I'm, oh, I can't, I can't blame you. And, and here's, here's another thing, too, okay, is clean out your car. All right, because it, it, as like I said, I walked up, I could smell it. Because I, I just smoked 20 feet away. Okay.
I want you to sign your tickets, okay? You're getting two of them today, okay? okay. Possession of a controlled substance less than one ounce and possession of a narco paraphernalia for the glass pipe, okay. okay? If you don't appear on that date, a warrant may be issued for your arrest, okay? Yes, so I need you to go ahead and sign right there on that red X, all right? Here's the thing, okay? And you backed into the back of a police vehicle. I mean, and then you... Uh, and then we, thought, we, we thought you were attempting to get away. So that's why we came flying after you, you know, sirens and everything. Right. Um, thank you for being cooperative. But like I...